Hey, fellas. So the next question that came up on the mechanics aspect was uh, Storm's interaction with rather Overload's interaction with Omni's ult. And pretty much the question was if Omni ults, does the Overload damage still proc uh, and still damage uh, the Omni Knight Looking and the good. people who have uh, Guardian Angel on? And as you can see, it definitely does. So and they're off. that answers that. The reason for that is because the Guardian Angel, whereas it actually prevents all physical damage, it actually does not dodge your attacks. It just stops uh, physical damage. Um, immunity from physical damage. Whereas if this guy had evasion, and if you actually miss the attack, um, can I actually... Give item battle theory. Oh, it was butterfly, but it's still, I don't know what the command is. Anyway, if you actually miss the attack on uphill or uh, evasion or something, then yes, the overload will not proc because you actually didn't hit the person. But because with the guardian angel you are hitting, you are doing the damage. But at the same time, if we have repel on, then your overload actually will not damage him because the overload is completely magic damage and at the same time if you have both guardian angel and um what do you call it <laughs> uh, repel on then you actually don't take the physical aspect of the small storms right click and you pay, don't take the overload aspect either now um one thing uh, i wanted to talk a little bit more about overload one thing that people many people actually don't uh, know or don't utilize is that you can actually proc overload uh, if you use the static remnant or one of your spells after your right click has already gone up in the air for example right here uh, I actually throw the, <coughs> the, the the right click is flying in the air and then I use static remnant and the damage still applies uh, the overload actually uh, procs you can see see right there um, the overload was even though I used the static remnant afterwards now uh, this is a very very undervalued aspect of storm because what happens is if I use static remnant and you can quite clearly see that I do have overload especially in the mid lane uh, then the enemy is actually gonna try uh, a little bit to dodge your attack and if there's a creep which is low um, then the enemy if the enemy actually goes further back then you have to right click the and then you're gonna lose your uh, overload charge and also if you have a hero like uh, for example if you have puck for instance right and puck has uh, phase shift enabled right so if she sees that you have uh, <clears throat> you have overload uh, she's just gonna dodge it she's just gonna dodge the overload and uh, then move back right so uh, uh, dodge your head and then move back uh, it doesn't as you can see it doesn't actually disappear uh, but she is if she's already going back and uh, we're talking about mid lane right here we're talking about the early stages of mid lane and she's standing up here and you throw the overload on her um, you actually right click her right click her the creeps have started their attack you you have to move back she's going to dodge your overload and then you have to move back you have to take some damage from the creeps and then you have to essentially waste your overload on a last hit because you couldn't get it on the puck whereas at the same time uh if you wow um if you actually throw the right click in the air and oops i messed that up If you actually throw the right click in the air first, uh, and then, like, as it's about to hit, hit her, uh, then you proc Static Remnant, she's like, oh, it's just a regular attack coming in, and suddenly, boom, it's an overload charge. So that is something that you can actually use to, um, yeah, stuff. Uh, also, uh, when, it's, when you're right clicking creeps, right, and you see that the creep is... <clears throat> uh being contested right so you know that at level two you've got extra 40 damage from your last hit um uh, the 60 damage from your last last hit as um 
as your regular damage and then you can actually proc 40 damage from overload and if you see that there's about to the enemy is about to actually deny uh, you can actually do this as well that it's flying in the air and then you use static static remnant and then you're gonna get the you're gonna get the last hit i don't highly advise it unless it's a range creep uh, but if the enemy is contesting it and you definitely need to you know uh contest it that's that's one option that you have but it's just like information and sometimes it works out anyway um thank you for watching and uh leave any suggestions you have any uh questions any interesting mechanics and i want to make this like i, I want to get a bit regular on this mechanics thing and i have lots of lots of mechanics so uh yeah uh, i'd appreciate that any help you, you guys get. so I'll speak to you guys later bye bye